Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to turn around the tables. We're given the two intercepts, the x and the y intercept, and they're asking us to find the equation of the line. Now, later on in the series, we're going to learn a very special technique, the slope intercept form, which actually makes it easier to do so. But at least we should learn this technique here. If we're given the equation, if we're just given the, the uh, x and y intercept, we should be able to find the general form of the equation. But in other words, we should be able to find A, B, and C. Let's see how that's done. So, we know that the line intercepts the y-axis at y equals 4 and intercepts the x-axis at x equals 3. So we're going to take the ordered pair 3, 0, and 0, 4 and plug them into the general form in order to find A and B. That can be done as follows. So first we're going to plug in 3 and 0 for x and y in the general equation. So a times plus b times equals c. So let's plug in those values. So we're going to plug in 3 for x and 0 for y. And then we're going to do that again using the second intercept. We're going to take a times plus b times and that equals c. In this case, we're going to use 0 and negative 4. So now, in order to eliminate c, we're going to subtract the second equation from the first equation. So the way that's done is as follows. So we're going to subtract the second equation from the first equation. And the easiest way to do that is simply multiply the negative in both sides of the second equation and then add the two equations. So let's do that. We get 3a plus 0b. 0b is equal to c, and here we get 0a, and minus times the minus 4b, that gives us plus 4b, is equal to negative times c is going to be negative c. And now we can add the two equations, which makes it a little bit easier. So 3a plus 0 is 3a, 0b plus 4b is plus 4b, and c minus c is 0. And so that would be equal to 0. So in other words, 3a is equal to negative 4b, or a is equal to negative 4 thirds b. So now we have a relationship between a and b. Now I'm going to plug in an arbitrary value for b. I can do so by taking the negative and the denominator and making that b. So I'm going to let b is equal to negative 3. If I do so, I can find the corresponding value for a. So that means that a is going to be equal to negative 4 thirds times negative 3. Notice the negative 3's cancel out, and we end up with a is equal to 4. So we have b equals 3, a equals 4, and those are the two of the three values I'm looking for, and I can plug that into my equation right here. So when a is equal to 4, b is equal to negative 3, so we end up with 4x minus 3y is equal to c. So now I have one more thing to find, which is the value c. I can do so again by plugging in one more point, one of these two points, let's plug in this point right here, in x and y in my equation right here. So I end up with 4 times minus 3 times equals c. So I need an x and a y value. And my x and y value are right here, x and y. We know that's on the line. So plug in a 3 and we'll plug in a 0. So we end up with 12 minus 0 equals c or 12 equals c. So now not only did I find a and b, I also found the value c. I can plug that into my equation right here. And my equation becomes 4x minus 3y is equal to 12. And there's the equation that we found of the line that passes through the two intercepts, x equals 3, y equals 0, x equals 0, y equals negative 4. And just in case you were wondering, we can also plug in the other point and get the same value for c. So let's do that. Let's try 4 times value for, a, for x minus 3 times the value for y is equal to c. And so, what happens when we plug in the other point? We get 0 and negative 4. Notice, in this case, we end up with 0 minus 3 times the minus 4 is plus 12 equals c, 
or 12 equals C. So you can see that either point would have gotten you the very same equation. And that is how it's done. Ah. Uh.